Welcome to Empathy Zone M, YouTube's most masochistic gaming show where we play trick jump and puzzle maps from different games. Today we are playing B0 Beta 6, made by Bob. It's a classic trick jump map, which I'm sure all 17 CPM players have come across at some point. There's a variety of things to practice here, which is great for beginners and rusty fuckers like me. The point of this video is to showcase the map and see how well it's aged since its release date in 2006. Let's take it for a spin, shall we? Alright. Some of you might know me personally, or in general, and be aware of some of my opinions, my personal opinions about CPM movement. And for those people it shouldn't come as any surprise that I absolutely fucking love this movement. It's perfection, it's literal it's literally the best thing ever. I love how there's no sideways air control. You can bunny hop forwards and backwards like this. But there's no sideways equivalent of that. And that's just perfect. Mwah, love it. And if one air control technique wasn't enough, you can move like this with left and right or you can also do the same thing essentially the same thing with forward only which is fucking genius so many ways to move forward in this game so we got plenty of things to cover here in this map lots of different things uh, which will be go which we will be going through one by one starting with these easy maps Easy maps, easy jumps. I know I shit on this game a lot, but I've certainly had my fun in it as well. Lots of fun memories. I like playing Duel and FFA. In this game, more so I, than I do in games like Quick Live. Because I too am a fan of speed. But the problem is that I also like moving sideways. <laughs> Which is really why Quake World is the... Nothing really beats Quake World. It is the ultimate Quake. It doesn't have Railgun. Which also makes it good. Railgun was a mistake, and precision aim is a pointless skill. <laughs> Feel free to try and change my mind. <laughs> yeah. I used to be able to just run through this map. I don't know what happened. I'm still not sure if it's possible to get there like this. I don't remember it, if it was possible because it feels like it should be. I forgot how to get there. Like this. And it would be nice if I could do stair jumps. Jesus. 
Come on. I forgot how to do circle jumps in this game too. Like you have to do... I think the ground acceleration was much higher in this game, which means you have to do your... do very snappy circle jumps. Extreme. This might take a while because I couldn't even do that regular stair jumps. I have no recollection what to do here. Like this looks like a triple jump, but you don't have triple jumps in this game. So I guess you only gotta do a double. Oh yeah, doesn't seem very complicated. Gotta get the circle jump right. Like so. Another stair jump. Can you do this with speed? Yeah, you can. You just gotta crouch. I'll be damned. Alright, what next? Special technique. Let's do technique.
my rocket jump timing is still off. It's not the same in every quake or game. Come on. There we go. That was probably the wrong way to do it, but I don't care. Missing textures there. This one was just a head bump. Or you could also do a double jump from that. But the head bump is easier. As long as you can get going to the right direction. Which is, I think, there. These jumps are very awkward because these are actually, if you didn't know, these are actually like actual parts from regular maps. So they aren't really designed for jumps like these originally. It's just what the community came up with. There we go. Another head bump. Alright, next up we have my least favorite thing, which is plasma jumps. Which will also probably include plasma climbing. Which I really hate. If you play if you played Quake 3 for a very long time, I don't think you realize how dumb plasma climbing actually is. Like, people give urban terror shit because when you're strafing you have to stare in the walls because you're basically going sideways, but you're doing the same thing with plasma climbing. And I agree, both of those instances are dumb. <laughs> I remember this was very annoying. We might stay here for a while as well. In Reflex you could do this part with almost a single plasma jump. Or like one jump like this and maybe one extra boost from the wall. They really cranked up the boost in Reflex.
Uh, saw the ledge. Which means I'm almost there. What's up with the FPS drops? Can I chase this? Probably not gonna work. Do I need to have like a super circle jump to get there? Fucking finally. I hate that fucking jump so much. So stupid. Circle jumps.
stair jumps. <coughs> I thought we had stair jumps already. Did the previous ones not count? Okay, that's all the technique ones. What are the special ones? Freestyle, concept room, puzzle room. Nothing much here. Okay, those aren't finished, so run, run short. Run wild. Oh, you gotta continue. I don't remember this part. Maybe I missed it. Okay, I think there was some secret thing somewhere here.
I'm pretty sure there was a switch. There we go. And that opened a room here. Bonus, bonus. Okay, well I guess that's all this map has to offer. Oh, I almost forgot. There's another secret here. Ta-da! But it's another freestyle room. That was B0 beta 6, and that's all this map has to offer. So the map is definitely much easier by today's standards. I remember it being, being much harder when I first got into CPMA. So if by some chance there's still some people who are trying to learn the CPM movement, this is definitely a good beginner's course, but it's not gonna offer a lot to the more experienced players. I feel like the map could have more ramp jumps and air control strafe jumping trick jumps because it feels like it's only just double jumps and you know and i get it because it's like the main thing in cpma but there's i think there's there's much more you could offer in a map like this like there wasn't even grenade jumps for example oh yeah i know that my episodes have been getting kind of shorter lately and it's because i'm always kind of working on several episodes at the same time and there's always that one tough and grindy project in the background. Craxel, you know what I'm talking about. Let me hear whether you like the shorter or longer episodes more, because there's some episodes that I could easily split into two or three. So anyway, that's all for today. I hope you enjoyed today's grind, and I hope I will see you in the next episode as well. Until then, bye!